There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And this is Action Force, I believe. Or maybe that's the company. Let's find out. Yeah, this is Gunhead by Action Force. But apparently the Action Force logo is more important. Now, there's a problem with this one. And I think you can spot it fairly quickly. <laughs> the uh, the menu is like this. The I, I'm just hitting up or down once. And this happens. Now, I, I tried turning down the cycles count. No joy. So let's just jump in. That's right, it's a top-down shooter, so I'll be here for a few minutes at the very least, because you know me in top-down shooters. Or at least I hope you know me by now in top-down shooters, I give them a lot more time than other games. And the backdrop, yeah, it's, it's a bit greyish. And uh, I did play this briefly, just to sort of check the cycles counts and stuff like that. And it turns out it's one of those where if you get hit once, you're done. So, <laughs> we'll see how long I last. Uh, oh, that looks like a power up. Let's just uh, avoid this raining death. Did that hit me or... I'm not sure. Maybe if you get hit a few times you die. There's no real sort of indicator as to your health or anything like that. And you've got these abstract, uh, you know, shapes and then every so often you'll have a pyramid just randomly shooting at you. Apparently the Egyptians were a space-faring people who didn't like you in particular. I'm not sure of a plot because I can't access it. And this guy looks like some sort of boss who again is raining down upon me. So we've got another power up there and that makes our weapon slightly thicker. Presumably causing it to do more damage. And as people know, in these sort of games, if you can, you just leave your weapon on. It's about the spray and pray. How much damage can you potentially cause? Ooh, another power up. There we go. And now it's slightly wider as well as being thicker. Well, that's a, that's one you can quote me on. Anyway. Those are interesting carnival-like shapes. And that's pretty much it. By the looks of things, you just carry on at the same speed. And you've got uh, one of those soundtracks that feels like it was recorded using an Amiga or something. Basically because of the stereo separation. You know the way the Amiga had a very specific sound that was heavily, you know, separated. It had very little in the middle. And it was like it had uh, things on the left and right hand channels. Amiga fans will know what I'm talking about. But yes, the level doesn't appear to be doing much to differentiate itself. And yep, this is going to be the end of us. Oh, look at this fella. This is more an avoid him up than a shoot him up at this point. Because he's constantly firing and if he, you know, oh, if he manages to get a shot off at us, then we're done. No, oh, uh, he's, he's cornered me here. Yep, yep. Ha ha! You never had a chance against my armies. You are a fool. And now you have to die. See you in heck. And that's game over. So, what is Gumhead? It's a very simple, top-down shooter. Not much going for it. Uh, music is okay-ish. Graphics are eh, and the gameplay is sort of up there with kind of a major striker thing, in that it doesn't hold a candle to the likes of Raptor or Tyrion or Starcom. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos on my channel, and if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe. And if you can avoid all the bullets, you're probably one of my very clever patrons who can navigate spacecraft and take out the ancient spacefaring Egyptians. I really am attributing a lot to these people's skills. 
Until next time.